Look in a clear mountain mirror, see the beautiful ancient warrior and the divine elements you always carry inside. When you look in the mirror, beloved, do these words of Hafez ring true? Whom do you see when you look in the mirror? As someone who's treated trauma for over 20 years, I've discovered how life tests us. See if you can pass these tests I call living in the real world. So some of you may be old enough to remember this, that a few decades ago, Saturday Night Live had this great little skit. I think it was Dana Carvey. And he would stand in front of the mirror and say, I'm pretty, I am nice, and by God, people like me, or something like that. I don't really remember. But it got to what was a really cheesy practice at the time, which is looking in the mirror and telling yourself all kinds of happy Pollyanna affirmations for just how great you are and just how great the world is. And it didn't ring true for people. And for some reason, we keep, we being therapists, we keep on advising that people do this. Look in the mirror and give yourself affirmations, how wonderful you are. And that's not really self -acceptance. Vanity is just the opposite of what this test is. Vanity says, I can only look pretty pretty. I can only show my best side. And the mirror test is about instead being honest with yourself, about really looking at all of yourself. And if that goes to, if I'm honest with myself, what I uniformly see is how ugly I am, then that is a reflection of how traumatized you are, that feeling that you have when you've got to brush your teeth in the morning and the last thing you really want to do is look in the mirror at all because the moment you look in the mirror, you hate yourself so much that you go into this spin of horror. Oh my God, I'm me. You are amazing just as you are. And part of that beauty is in the flaws. Everyone has something beautiful in themselves. And if they can actually take the risk and look at themselves and really see themselves in all their flaws, in all their mystery, in all their amazing quirks, as well as what's okay about them, then I think that that gets projected into their experience in the world. They see that in others. They can see the beauty and the flaw. It's about our flaws, our eccentricities, even our secrets that eventually show up, come out, get resolved. It's our healing process. It's the people we run into. It's the conflicts we have. It's the stuff we've got to grow out of or into that makes us really juicy human beings. It's time to be juicy. It's time to look in the mirror. And even though there's this visceral feeling inside of you, oh my God, ugh, I can't believe it. Give yourself a chance. Give yourself the mirror test. For just 10 seconds, let yourself look in the mirror and think that at some point, possibly in the future, you may embrace the person looking back at you. I hope if you can't do it now, someday you do. I hope you pass the mirror test. <laughs>